be so good to gather again as a church and sing. We've had plenty of time in recent days to reflect upon what's really important in life. And as we read Psalm 65, we similarly get this sense of considered thankfulness. We see a God who is deserving of worship. We see his power and awesome nature. And we see his care and provision. David writes, Where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. With these thoughts, let's pray. Lord, we have so many things to be thankful for in our lives. You have forgiven us and brought us into a life of blessing where all things will work together for our good. Thank you for the time we've had to begin to appreciate the world in which we live and the bounty of the things you've given us to enjoy. Father, help us individually and as a church to be generous with what you've given us, generous with time, with money, with abilities, and that we would give of ourselves not out of duty, but because we can. We thank you for when we can be together again as a church family. We bring these things before you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.